to Monumental Moments, where we live to multiply his movement. I'm Melissa Machenbacher, and this is a place we passionately pursue and proclaim Jesus. Today's Monumental Moment on the Feel for the Harvest podcast is titled, Stained Glass Windows. We happened to be driving down the downtown streets of St. Louis not too long ago. My husband had told me, I really want to drive you by a church tonight that I saw the last time I was here. So we added that to our evening agenda. And after dinner, we made our way sightseeing and went around parks and past historic monuments. And then we came upon Cathedral Basilica of St. Louis, an elegant and stately masterpiece. So intrigued with the outside, I asked my husband to drive around the block a couple times. Then I went home to research the building and the architecture. I learned that plans were underway to build this in the early 1900s. It was to be a temple in the name of the Lord. With an initial financial commitment of over a million dollars at the time, the facility took over 80 years to complete and substantially more finances along the way, as you can imagine. I continued to read that the The Cathedral Basilica of St. Louis has one of the world's largest collections of mosaics with 41.5 million pieces. Consider Googling it. It's breathtaking. The more I read, the more I wanted to step inside this beautiful handcrafted architecture that was built to honor the Lord. It's a sight to see where Bible stories vibrantly come to life and are illuminated through an abundance of stained glass and mosaic tiles. After my research and nearly sleepless night thinking about this captivating building, early the next morning I talked my husband into walking a couple of blocks to attend an early 7 a.m. service. The reverence was tangible. I knelt to pray as the cushioned kneeling benches summoned my knees and heart under an umbrella of grandeur. I was aware of the awe and wonder of the facility, but even more than that, the grandeur of God and his goodness for us. As I looked at the masterful Bible stories alive through mosaic stones and stained glass images, the images were almost more than I could take in as scripture was being read by the priests and the clergy. The pipe organ led those of us sitting in the ornate wooden pews through spiritual hymns and prayers and offerings as the kneeling benches beckoned further still. I bowed in reverence to God, my creator, the maker of heaven and earth and everything in it. It was a moment of repositioning my heart in tender awe and wonder and complete reverence simultaneously. I haven't forgotten it. We attended another church service recently where the pastor shared a story about the history of stained glass. Stained glass found its way into the early church buildings to tell God's stories through pictures to mostly an illiterate population. Interesting, isn't it? When Jesus came to this earth, he repeatedly used stories to bring concepts to life in colorful ways for people to clearly understand. We have all sinned and we all have sinful and stained lives that can be turned into beautiful mosaics and brilliant stained glass stories that prove Jesus is our Savior. Isaiah 1 18 says, Come, let's settle this, says the Lord. Though your, skin, your sins are scarlet, they will be as white as snow, and though they are crimson red, they will be like wool. How can you share your personal stories of your broken and sin-stained life before Jesus and turn them into wonderful, powerful, life-altering pictures for the world to see Jesus' work in you? Take a moment today and ask God to help you articulate a fresh, captivating, vivid story to share with the world around you. Think of it as a verbal mosaic, so to speak, a descriptive story to help others visualize the beautiful, redemptive work of the cross through Jesus Christ. Allow God's redemptive work to turn your sinful stains into stained glass stories for your Savior. How can you make monumental moments and live to multiply His movement today? 